Hi, my name is Stacy Swiderski. I'm a photo editor here at Wonderful Machine, and I'm about to work on a web portfolio edit for photographer Patricia Burke. Patricia is based out of New Jersey, and she specializes in architecture, home and garden, outdoor adventure, and a little bit of lifestyle. So today we're gonna take a look at her site. Patricia originally came to us interested in membership and after giving her some feedback, she decided that a web edit was gonna be the best approach for her to implement a more streamlined, cohesive edit. So let's take a look at her interiors and home. So you can see um, there are a lot of detail shots in her portfolio. She also has a lot of images of people mixed in. She has things grouped based on room. Let's take a look at another gallery, exteriors and garden. A pretty extensive gallery. We have 43 pages of images. Let's take a look by clicking through. We have some detail shots, vertical pairings, a mixture of plant life, architecture, and garden details. Okay, let's take a look at another gallery, uh, People and Portraits. So this gallery has a mixture of quite a few different things. We have some detail shots of work from a bicycling shop that she's done work for, some lifestyle images, some kids, pets, some portrait, some corporate. Okay, let's go to another gallery and take a look at cycling. You can see this gallery is a mixture of details of the bike shop along with details of bikes. She also has some bike tour images in here along with some studio shots. She also has a Tour de France gallery. So we'll just quickly take a look at the thumbnails. Okay. And the last gallery in her portfolio is going to be an active lifestyle. And so with this gallery, she has some adventure images some lifestyle images. So we'll really go through everything that she's provided us with and fine tune her primary portfolios, create some solid cohesive galleries with her secondary work, which would be the active lifestyle, her cycling. We're gonna be focusing on reducing her overall image content, reevaluating the galleries that she's currently showing and put a solid edit together of her work. I'll be right back. Okay, so now we'll take a look at Patricia's completed web edit. You'll see on her homepage that she's showcasing four separate galleries of work. Um, she now has a home and interiors gallery, an exteriors and gardens gallery, an active lifestyle, and a project gallery for Tour de France. So we've consolidated the amount of galleries that she's showing. Let's take a look at our first gallery, which is home and interior. You'll see that I've placed a significant emphasis on sequence and flow with this gallery, navigating with a nice push and pull, going from room to room, and focusing on color, detail, and overall sense of space. Now, if we take a look at the thumbnails, you can see that there's quite a bit of vertical pairings, but not too many. Her previous gallery had an extensive amount of content in it, so the idea with this gallery was to make sure that we show a diverse range of interiors, a good amount of detail, and just an overall solid amount of work so that the client can get a good sense of how she shoots and her overall style. So the next gallery is gonna be her exteriors and gardens. With the exterior and garden gallery, I really wanted to open with a strong image that showed a nice sense of place and integrated architectural elements, garden elements, and outdoor living. So this gallery is gonna be a grouping of exterior spaces and architectural details, general architecture, and gardens. So if we take a look at the thumbnails, you can get a sense of how many vertical pairings we have here. Personally, I don't like to have so many vertical pairings where it becomes uh, more about the diptychs rather than the individual images. So when I work on an edit, I pay attention to selectively doing pairings and not overusing them. The benefit of having a tight edit is to appreciate the individual images more so than the diptychs. So Patricia's next gallery 
is her secondary work, which is now an active lifestyle gallery. She has a lot of outdoor adventure, outdoor lifestyle, active lifestyle, and cycling imagery. So we decided to put these together into a tightly curated selection. This is work that she's still adding to um, and still developing, but she is currently doing work for clients in the specialty, so we felt it was important to include it on our site, but not put a tremendous emphasis on it, which is why we have it down further in her list of portfolio. And then after this, we decided to do one project gallery, which is a gallery of the Tour de France from 2014. This year, she'll be adding to it. And this is predominantly work to show how she's able to photograph a project within a given specialty. So even though this is work in progress, we thought it was necessary to keep it on her site just so that potential clients can see more of the direction she's headed with her active lifestyle gallery. So overall, I'm really happy with how Patricia's edit came out. I think it shows a very concise, clean edit. I think there's a really nice push and pull between images. And overall, I think it makes her site very streamlined and easy to navigate. And it doesn't make the viewer feel overwhelmed with content. Ideally, you want a client to land on your site, be able to figure out exactly where the images they're looking for are, and be able to get to them quickly. So thanks for checking out my screencast of Patricia Burke's web edit. Again, I'm Stacey Swiderski, one of the photo editors here at Wonderful Machine. And you can email me at stacy at wonderfulmachine.com if you'd like help with an edit of your own. Or you can also check out our consulting page to find other ways that we can help you. Thanks and have a great day.